This is going to be a short video demonstration of integrating Salesforce and VSTS. In the demo video today, we are going to briefly cover how a case in Salesforce can be synchronized with a bug in VSTS. Currently, you have teams using both tools that are built specifically for the work they do every day. But when it comes time to share that work with other members of the team, the lack of integration with the tools those colleagues use creates unnecessary friction. You may have a use case where you need to synchronize cases from Salesforce into VSTS as bugs. You want an easy solution that will enable your teams to quickly and seamlessly have data in both solutions. Without the synchronization, your teams are forced to manually copy the bugs from one tool to the next, or you have to find a way to build out that integration on your own. By doing these integrations of data, you can maximize the productivity for your support engineers, developers, and testers, with the benefit of having full visibility and traceability across the defect reporting and resolution process. As you can see below, there are a variety of fields, attributes, schedules, updates, and references that you can synchronize between both tools. So with that, let's get started and hop into the demo. What you are looking at here is a landscape view of all of the integrations I have configured in my instance of Tastop Hub. This shouldn't be something that is overwhelming, so let me draw your attention specifically to the integration that we are walking through today between Salesforce and VSTS. You may have multiple teams who want to share information to and from one another by creating cases in Salesforce and sharing that information with your agile development teams working in VSTS as bugs. Based on this, that is a process I will be walking through in the demo today. Currently, you may have to manually duplicate those cases in Salesforce into bugs as VSTS to perform the work needed. But now, TaskTop is going to step in and flow that information into the other solution as the corresponding artifact in real time, which will enable your teams to communicate effectively. By doing these integrations of data, you can maximize the productivity for support engineers, developers, and testers with the benefit of having full visibility and traceability across the case or bug reporting and resolution process. We are now in Salesforce. Like your teams normally would do, you may have support engineers who are going to be creating tickets or cases inside your normal tool. This is where your engineers may have triaged numerous incidences and compiled similar ones maybe into problems or larger cases. The goal in here for you to see is how I would typically be walking through the process that maybe a support engineer would do. Nothing has to be different about it. So what you're going to be able to see here is me changing a variety of fields around my case. I can add information around dev status, the application type, severity, maybe a few status things, and I can start adding a description as well. Again, all of these are just the normal process that people on your team would be walking through on any day. The last thing I want to do is scroll down and hit save, which is going to trigger the start of my integration. So now let's hop into VSTS and see that that artifact came over in real time. So as I refresh the screen, we're going to see that the specific case that we just created in Salesforce popped up as a bug in VSTS. So let me explain what just happened. In the back end, what was able to do when I pushed submit or save on that case in Salesforce is TaskTop went in and used the existing APIs in your tools and it looked for new creation of artifacts or updates to that artifact. So in this case, TaskTop saw a case in Salesforce that has never seen before. So it went and it checked the integration that was set up and it knew that they needed to send that case over into VSTS as a bug. We can drill into this specific case as well. And as I click into the case, we're going to be able to see some of that information. One of the first things we can see is here in the middle of the screen, the idea of this alternate ID. What this is showing me is that this is the ID of this case in Salesforce. So your teams are going to have the same reference of artifact that they are working at, and you again have a visibility and communication layer that you did not have before. 
I can change different aspects such as we'd set the priority of three in Salesforce. I could change it to a one. I might change my severity maybe to medium. I could change my description field as well. Add a little bit more information saying possibly not able to edit. I can also change the state that I am currently in into active and I can save this. So as I click save, I can now hop back over into Salesforce. And as I hop into Salesforce and refresh my page, we're going to be able to see that my case that I originally created is here. And as I drill into that, we can see some of the updated fields as well. We see that my category needs triage. I can see that my severity which changed. I can see that my description, possibly not able to edit, was updated in real time as well. You just saw how TaskTop Hub was able to successfully move a Salesforce case over to VSTS as a bug. For more information about TaskTop, please visit www.tasktop.com.